Two students from Massachusetts are attending a nationwide STEM festival in Washington, D.C. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff is also there. He loves this stuff to show us the excitement surrounding science, technology, engineering, and of course, mathematics. Today, the National STEM Festival kicked off in Washington, D.C. This is where over 100 young people have gathered to display their truly amazing projects. From medical grade bandages made of vegetables. I made that out of homemade uh, ingredients that I found in my kitchen pantry. So I made homemade biodegradable adhesives for topical drug delivery. To a version of Minecraft meant to teach young kids farming. We're looking at a lot of storms, a lot of rain. So that's different crops, right? That, and some else. may even be considered gross. Then, and I designed a sustainable, scalable, circular food system that's unique because it has a negative environmental impact. So mealworms can digest styrofoam. Yes, and they can convert it into CO2. Which and has we a much can eventually eat the mealworm. Yes. But all of these projects are equally innovative and push for a better future. Two of the champions are from Massachusetts, Sarah Wang and Nichelle Thinniger. Um, so, Nichelle and Sarah, we are so thrilled to have you here today, not only as national STEM champions, but there's somebody else who would like to congratulate you. And I have the privilege of presenting you with a commendation from Governor Healy for your work in STEM and to recognize you as two of Massachusetts national STEM champions. Awesome, thank you so much. There's so many amazing like projects and resources and like research that people have done. And I just feel so honored and inspired just to be part of this entire group. To be here is to be inspired. From the National STEM Festival in Washington, DC, I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Proclamation will look pretty good on the wall, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. From the governor? Yeah, good stuff. All right.